Hi, I'm Brian with ericksontutoring.blogspot.com. Today we're going to discuss the isotopes of hydrogen. So first of all, we need to understand what an isotope is. Um, atoms occur in several different uh, forms or variations. Um, and the way that they differ, they all have the same number of protons in their, in their nucleus. Um, but the number of neutrons, neutrons are uh, neutrally charged particles, um, the number of neutrons can vary. Um, so the end result is that you have several different uh, variations or forms of the same essential element. So hydrogen, which is our focus today, has three isotopes. Um, you have uh, H1, um, which means that there's one proton and no neutrons in the nucleus. This is the most abundant form of hydrogen. I think it makes up 99.98 percent of all hydrogen on Earth. So definitely the most abundant. Um, there's deuterium, which has one proton and one neutron. Um, that makes up another very small percent of the hydrogen on Earth. Um, and it's good to note that that's not radioactive. Um, it is often, or it's sometimes used in studies to um, non-radioactively mark um, different parts of a molecule. And then your third one is Tritium. Tritium is a single proton with two additional neutrons in the nucleus, and that is highly radioactive, um, and it's used in some forms of science when you need a radioactive uh, element to sort of mark your molecule. So this has been a brief discussion of the isotopes of hydrogen.